Hey guys, today we are taking a look at a Champion Lithium Inverter Generator. What? what? Yes, that's right. Champion Power Equipment, the company that makes all of those wonderful gasoline and propano inverter generators is now producing California friendly lithium products. This is the 3200 unit. It outputs 3200 starting watts of electricity and around 1600 running watts of electricity. Although Champion calls this unit a generator, I prefer to call these devices power stations because technically they don't really generate electricity. They store electricity. It is a massive battery paired with an inverter and a bunch of power outlets. You have DC outlets and AC outlets. You can use the electricity for any task up to 1600 running watts. For example, recharging your portable electronic devices, powering your laptop, running a hairdryer, a blender, a coffee maker, a CPAP machine, or just about any small appliance. So in this video, we're going to review the design and features of this unit, talk about what makes it unique, and we'll demonstrate it in action, and then sum it up with a few concluding thoughts. First, some disclosure. Champion sent us these products for review. No money changed hands. We have total control over the content of this video. All opinions are our own. You know, in the past, I've had a lot of fun with various generator products and the California warning stickers. Well, this unit takes it to a new level straight from the factory. On the top, we have one of the most intriguing warning stickers I have ever seen. You know, when I was a kid growing up, we used to use the English language. Now, information is communicated through these modern hieroglyphics. And you'll see in the upper left, the company encourages you to read. Ironically. In the upper right, you'll see some sort of asteroid or comet speeding in to impact with Earth. To the left, you'll see an 80s hair metal band hairdo. And most intriguingly is this violent sticker in the middle of someone having acid poured onto their hand and it is literally eating through their hand and burning off their fingers. Although you're not handling gasoline or propane here, there is a slight fire risk associated with lithium ion products. Note that the unit is not weatherproof and must be stored indoors. In the front center of the unit, you'll find its IntelliGage display. And if I press this button, it should roar to life. And there you will see the Champion logo as it powers up. And this is what Champion is calling basically the fuel level displayed in the center. That is the percentage charge, the battery inside. This power station has a large 3,276 watt hour capacity. What does that mean? It means there's a lot of electricity stored inside this box. For example, enough to power a CPAP machine for 52 hours straight. You could power a portable fan for 75 hours. A microwave oven for three. And if you tap this button, you will power on the AC electrical outlets. On your right, you will find the AC outlets and both AC and DC outlets are hidden beneath these little clear plastic covers or flaps. I am not a huge fan of flaps. In fact, I am thinking about performing a flapectomy, but they do provide a little bit of protection for the outlets. And you'll see on the AC side of things, we have three 15 amp, 120 volt outlets. In addition to three 120 volt AC electricity outlets, here you will find the so-called Paralink parallel port. It is possible to run this unit in parallel with another Champion power station for increased electrical output. The parallel kit is sold separately and does add an RV ready 30 amp outlet. And uh, on the DC side of things, on the left, beneath the flap, you'll find couple of USB-A ports, a couple of USB-C ports, good old fashioned politically incorrect cigarette lighter style port, and another 20 amp DC output port. So, I mean, basically you have three really easily usable AC outlets and you have four 
USB-C, which you can use to recharge your portable electronic devices. On the IntelliGage display, I will just mention there is something called THD. There is a THD shield. Although not a birth control device, this does offer protection. This has to do with total harmonic distortion. This device does output clean sine wave electricity, so it's safe for your portable electronic devices. But as you deplete the battery reserves, you could risk having less than pure sine wave electricity. And in that case, the THD shield kicks in and protects your portable electronic devices from any kind of damage. The unit is mostly silent. There is a cooling fan inside and you will especially hear that when you recharge the device. Now let's talk about how you might recharge this Champion unit. So on the back of this unit, you will find three separate ports which you can use to recharge the batteries inside. The first and most obvious will be AC electricity. You can just plug it into a wall outlet and of course, this is the fastest way to recharge the unit. Although AC electricity is the fastest method of recharge, it's not really that fast and only inputs about 384 watts into the batteries. It takes around nine hours to recharge the unit using only AC electricity, but you can combine AC and DC recharging to recharge the unit in about four and a half hours. Next, to the AC input, you will find where you can plug in solar panels. And one really kind of cool thing about this Champion, uh, that is a standard solar input. You can use a variety of different solar panels. So if you already own some portable solar panels from companies like EcoFlow or Renogy, they are compatible with this Champion because that is an industry standard input. So I really like that about the unit. And finally, you'll see a charge port that makes this unit kind of unique and makes the whole Champion line of products unique. And this is where you can input an attachment expansion battery. And I'm gonna show you one of those batteries right now. And here is a expansion battery. And these are designed to stack on top of one another. All right, we're going to attempt to pair this expansion battery with the power station. By holding down the overload reset button and pressing the on off button twice. Oh my, we have paired our battery. You can tell that the expansion battery is discharging into the power station. And if you end up getting more than one expansion battery, Champion actually makes a bracket which they will send to you for free to connect your batteries together on top of the unit. Believe it or not, you can attach up to 10 of these expansion batteries so you could actually easily expand your power reserves using this system. And there we see the IntelliGage display on the expansion battery. There is a little cooling fan inside the battery that you may have heard as it powered up. The expansion battery comes with its own external power brick, which happens to be larger than most actual bricks. And the power brick also has its own cooling fan. The expansion battery adds 1,638 watt hours to your total capacity. So in theory, if you stack 10 of these bad boys together, you could add over 16,000 watt hours. This would allow you to power an alien disco head for 56 days straight. As I mentioned, one really great feature of this unit is that it does have a standard MC4 solar cable input so you can pair your Champion portable power station with a variety of different solar panels from Renogy, Bluetti, and here you see an EcoFlow solar panel. Now with that said, in the real world, any of you who've ever played around with solar panels know you're constantly chasing the sun. You're constantly going to have to adjust the angle of the panel to maximize the amount of electricity that you'll end up getting into your unit. So under an ideal best case scenario, yes, you can pair AC recharging with DC recharging through solar. But how often are you really gonna be able to do that? How often are you going to have AC electricity and be using solar. 
I will point out that on the top of this unit, there is a little LED light that will come in handy. I mean, in theory, you can use this at your campsite or inside your camper van. So who is this unit for? Well, obviously it could potentially be for not only the RV traveler, but for someone who wants an extra source of electricity around the house in the case of a power outage or the zombie apocalypse. Now I know a lot of you out there are saying, Sean, these things are so expensive for the amount of electricity that they produce. It would be much cheaper to purchase a Champion gasoline or propane generator unit. Yes. Obviously that is true. This is a different type of power supply. And in my opinion, it's nice to have more than one option. You know, in the zombie apocalypse, gasoline may not be easily available. The same goes for propano or propane. And it's nice sometimes to have more than one source of electricity when you need it. For example, the last time we were out traveling cross country with our Airstream travel trailer, we suffered kind of a catastrophic problem with our onboard solar system involving the inverter. The inverter was going into overload mode and we didn't have any working electrical outlets inside our trailer. And it was nice just to be able to have something like this that we could use in our trailer or inside the truck. So I like having these things around in addition to gasoline and propane generators. Now don't shoot the messenger, but California has banned the sale of gasoline powered portable inverter generators starting in the year 2028. So like it or not, the future looks lithium. Yes, these are more expensive than comparable gasoline or propane powered generators. However, this is a different type of power delivery setup. These do not produce carbon monoxide. They are safe to operate indoors. They are mostly silent, so you can use them 24 hours a day. You don't have to worry about generator hours. And hey, if you add solar panels, I might even let you call it a solar generator because you can soak up all that free electricity from the sun. So let's talk for a moment here about weight. No, not my fried chicken and cheeseburger diet. The weight of these devices. The power station itself tips the scales at 62 pounds. The expansion battery is 20 pounds. And I really do like that you have these two solid sturdy metal handles on the top of the unit. As you can see, a somewhat flabby, out of shape, middle-aged man can lug this device around. Really, you're better off with two people doing this job, of course. <laughs> and so it should set nicely in place here. In the luxurious super cab rear seat area. Now, anytime you're moving this thing around, you want to be very careful to protect the IntelliGage display because I'm not sure what happens you damage that screen. I do like the fact that the screen is recessed here into the body of the unit. I think that will offer some additional protection from it being damaged in transit. Let's talk about testing. One, two, no testing the Champion Lithium Portable Power Station. Basically, you're gonna be able to power anything that requires around 1600 watts or less. Space heaters, hair dryers, even small air conditioning units. I tried using the unit with a small portable air conditioning unit that draws around 1100 watts and found that this was able to power it no problem whatsoever. I will say that I'm very impressed with the capacity that you have in this unit, especially once you add the expansion battery. This combination could run that small air conditioning unit for more than four hours. You can always check your IntelliGage display to determine how much electricity is being used by a particular device and how long you can run the device under the current demand. For example, the space heater is now drawing around 415 watts. But if you're wanting a more effective method of staying warm at night, consider an electric blanket because most electric blankets draw no more than 100 watts. 
This champion does a great job handling high wattage small appliances like professional blenders. And your morning coffee will barely put a dent in your power reserves. If you attempt to draw substantially more than 1600 watts through this unit, it will automatically shut off as a safety feature. It will overload and to reset the unit, all you have to do is press this little reset button on the upper left. The light will flash and you will once again have AC electricity restored from your outlets. So let's talk for a moment about price. The main 3200 unit costs around $2,000. The expansion batteries cost around $1,000. If you look at the features they deliver and especially the capacity that they deliver, they're priced in a very similar fashion to other units in this class. With this unit, you are buying a champion. You're not buying from some random company that just popped up overnight. And so when you buy a champion, you are getting a three-year warranty or 1,000 cycle warranty, whichever comes first, I suppose. And you're also getting Champion's customer service. And a lot of you out there have written to tell us that Champion's customer service is very good. And we ourselves have had great experiences dealing with Champion's customer service. I want to wrap this up with a few concluding thoughts and my likes and dislikes. I love the capacity with more than 3,200 watt hours and then the ability to expand and stack on batteries is critical. If you're willing to pony up the price, you can easily expand this system and kind of grow into the system. If you want to have a completely independent off the grid solution, I think the number of outlets and so forth and features are adequate, maybe not overly generous, but again, they're in keeping with the competition. My only complaint really has to do with recharge speed. You know, what I would really love to see from Champion would be a DC charge cable that would allow you to plug up your portable power station right to the cigarette lighter, the 12 volt outlet that you may have in your tow vehicle or in your RV. I think that would provide a really helpful fourth recharging option. And I would love to really see a faster, ultra fast AC recharging of the unit. So that's it guys, a look at the Champion Lithium Inverter Generator or power station as I prefer to call it. What do you think? Is Champion on the right track here? I know so many of you love Champion gasoline and propane generators. And when you heard they're doing a lithium power station, you must have done a double take. Well, so did I. And that's why we're taking a look at this product today. This has been yet another episode of Long Long Honeymoon, the long longest running honeymoon themed RV show on the interwebs. Until next time, I'm Sean. <laughs> what do we say here in the Loloho National Forest in my garage? We say Loloho. Hey guys, if you like our videos, a great way to say gracias senor is to visit our store on Amazon. You can go directly to amazon.com slash shop slash long long honeymoon or you can go to longlonghoneymoon.com in our store you will find all sorts of cool stuff including long long honeymoon hoodies, long long honeymoon t-shirts, my hat, my shoes, my old underwear, my self-respect, everything must go. Proceeds from our Amazon store are reinvested into our show, which requires large amounts of duct tape and lubricant to keep running smoothly. Who let the flies out? And by the way, this unit should not be stored inside a vehicle and it should not be stored outdoors. So don't store it indoors, but you certainly shouldn't store it outdoors. I don't know. I just think <laughs> you're just sort of in this in-between zone. I don't know. I guess you just need to be standing there ready to duck inside or outside depending upon the situation. Old Seymour. Still getting it done after all of these years. Mostly.